So, we have a ton of movie news for you guys. We have a ton of move DC animated film news for you guys. Um, it's interesting to know that the, a lot of this, first and foremost, is coming right to D the DC Universe streaming site, which I'm wondering if they're testing the waters to have the DC animated films go directly to the DC site. I don't know if, like, because I've heard back and forth things of, like, the DC Universe streaming site is, like, floundering, and they're trying to do whatever they can to you know, keep interest to, for people. The other ha end of the spectrum is people are trying to, um, people are trying to, like, uh, maybe it's the DVD sales sales themselves and they don't know what to do, so they want to put make them exclusive instead of be like, hey, let's just throw them away. So I don't know. I really don't know what the whole story is. I really don't know what the entire story is with, um, the D, you know the DC Universe streaming site as it is. If anyone wants to clue me in, let us you know let me know in the comments below. But anyway, we got a ton of DC streaming news now. Uh, Batman Hush is only a few weeks away. Ba yeah, and I'm mildly curious about it, even though Hush is not one of my favorite Batman stories. Let's let's be real, guys. We only give a shit about that book for the Jim Lee art. That is literally anyone can remembers out of the you know for that story. It's not one of Jeff Loeb's strongest stories. Um, the writing is kind of all over the place. It's literally just the Jim Lee. Oh no, really, really. Tell me one thing that happens in that book right off. The don't go, don't go, sc you know, scouring the internet for story plots or whatever. What's the first thing you remember about uh, about Hush? Oh, the artwork. That's it. Just like you and everyone else in this, in the, um, in the tired DC. Hell, even the, you know. Hush itself, everyone just remembers, you know, it's great poster material and some of J Jim Lee's best interior art, but really, um, that's, that's it. That's really it. But at the same time, I want to see where they go with this, because maybe, like, it, sometimes the, t the, f the animated films are better than the stories, case in point, under the Red Hood. Um, anywho... So, for a couple things, we have a few Superman ones, and I believe, actually, we, we are getting a direct-to-DVD Wonder Woman one called B Wonder Woman Bloodlines. I believe that's still going to be coming out later this year, or early next year, I'm not sure. But let me talk about the ones, the animated films that are coming out, um, so, like, for the DC streaming site. First and foremost, Superman Red Sun. That was actually rumored, a like, a like, earlier this year, that Superman Red Sun was going to get a DC animated film, uh, you know, it was going to get a DC animated film. Which is not surprising because of how well Gotham by Gaslight did. Um, it act Gotham by Gaslight did very well. So it would only stand to reason that they would do the second biggest um, Elseworld story out there. Well, I guess one of the, like, yeah, second biggest, um, the first being Dark Knight Returns, Gotham by Gaslight being the third, but Superman Red Sun is definitely one of the most notable um, Elseworld stories out there. So it would stand to reason that after Dark Knight, uh, DKR and, um, you know, DKR and Gotham by Gaslight, that Red Sun was going to get an animated film treatment. So that's going to be really cool. I just really hate that it's going to be on the streaming site instead of for DVD. But maybe they'll get it a DVD? And you're probably thinking, Zillow, why don't you just, you know, why don't you just get the, DV the DC streaming site? Because I don't have the money to do that, okay? I just don't. Um, anywho, but that's going to be really cool to see regardless. Speaking of Superman, we have another Superman animated film, Superman Man of Tomorrow, which is going to be apparently loosely based off of the John Byrne Superman run, which was the, the uh, post-crisis uh, origin story for Superman, which I really like. I really like John Byrne's Superman origin story. That was really good. They're apparently also going to throw in some of the, uh, man, you know, some of the, uh, Mark Wade's Superman origin story in there, which, okay, that's, that's all right, whatever. Um, I mean, not to say that one's bad, it's just that I just feel like you're kind of, mi you're, you're mixing matching, which sometimes does not work. But in terms of other DC animated films, we have a sequel Justice League Dark animated film coming to the DC streaming site, which is going to be Justice League Dark Apocalypse War. Which, that one got, this one got me curious, because, again, we're getting Justice League Dark, and it, by the name of it, Apoco you know, Apocalypse War, it looks like they're going to be taking on, the, you know, Dark Side. So, 
Dark Side versus I'm wondering how because Dark Side, while he does have some supernatural properties, he's not really big in the supernatural stay, you know, supernatural mainstay. So I'm wondering of what's you know what brought you know the just the supernatural Justice League up against Dark Side, or what is going to be the catalyst to bring them up against you know Dark Side and the rest of Apocalypse. It's also interesting to note that I'm that. Um, they said it's going to be a slightly bigger roster in Justice League Dark, which is odd because, you know, they killed off Swamp Thing, who, that pissed me off in the movie. Um, I'm wondering if, like, maybe they'll have other characters like Madame Xanadu, Dr. Fate, and Andrew Bennett, the character from I, Vampire. That would be really neat. I'd, I'd really like to enjoy, I really enjoy seeing them, uh, especially, I'd really enjoy seeing them uh, in this, you know, in this animated film. Um, yeah, so that's really cool. Um, it was nice to see that rumor of Red Sun getting an animated film, although, granted, I'm not too crazy of it being in the, being in the canon of, uh, the streaming site. Excuse me, like, not canon, but, like, just being a, a streaming exclusive. Same with Justice League Dark as well as Man of Tomorrow. I would have liked to seen these get DVD sales, but I guess either A, they're trying to step away from the DV direct-to-DVD films, or B, they're just like, hey, this DC stri uh, streaming service is kind of failing, let's get all we can in there. So I'm curious to know what the full story behind that is. But you guys tell us in the comments below, what do you guys think of the DC streaming uh, exclusive movies? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? Um, which one of those are you excited for the most, and are you going to check out Hush? Just comment below, let us know, if you're, and if you're new here, remember to like, share, and subscribe to this video, and be a, part of Earth, be a part of Earth's My Subscribers. I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.